Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our Lego room. In today's video, we're going to be running the Maersk train and then the Brick Mania trolley car through the layout. In particular, I want to test out the new T-junction module of track over there. Really excited about the potential of that and curious to see how the trains will move through and around that new section of track. Also really interested to see if we can come up with some interesting pathways through the layout. We'll try some different things coming through the yard, uh, running trains in different directions. So some counterclockwise, some clockwise, just see in general how the track on the layout is performing and what kind of interesting paths we can find through our rail network here in the Lego room. So let's jump in and start running some trains. So the initial test here is just running around the inner mainline track fairly straightforward. Everything seems to be performing as expected, which is nice to see. So the next thing to try here, I'm gonna try having it go in through the yard. See if we can run a sort of abbreviated loop around the layout that way. So we've got the inner mainline switch thrown in such a way that it should go through the yard. Always a bit tense, never quite sure. It's like you always wanna make sure every switch along the way is good, but that seems to be performing the way that I would expect. A nice pathway through the through the yard there. Nice and smooth. And now the switch should be set up so it's back just doing the outer loop around the track. So that's good as expected there. No major issues. Nice to see that it respected the switch. So those are two simple ways to have it navigate around the layout. Let's try for some more complicated loops through the, the layout. Now I've changed the switches over by the yard here. So now it should be going from the inner main line to the outer main line. Very nice. What I really need now is a way to automate these switches. Would be nice to be able to just have kind of like a master board where you could go and just throw the different switches from one part of the layout and not have to run around and sort of go underneath and into the middle of the layout to get to some of those switches a future goal, but as you can see, we're now on the outer loop of the main line. Everything seems to be performing well. Now 
Now, theoretically, we should be able to throw the other switch down at the end there to have it go from that outer main line into the train yard and then back out to the outer main line. Really at that point to either the inner or outer main line, but I think we'll try for the outer main line first and see how that works. So the switch is set there, so it should head into the yard from there. Really nice to have the capability to get trains to and from the yard from both of the mainline tracks. That worked appropriately. So we're on the other rail yard track there and back out to the the inner main line that time. We didn't go all the way out, which is fine, but that was cool. Now we're gonna get fancy. So we're on the inner main line. So we should be able to now come into the yard with the way that I've set the switches up. So on the yard there. Okay, so that brought us to there. So if we change the switches. Okay, so we're coming around on the inner main line. So what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna to try to get it to go to the outer main line. And then when it comes back around on the outer main line, it should route back into the yard again. And let's see what we get here. So we're out to the outer. That worked well. So now we're on the outer track and the outer track is going to send it back into the yard. This is probably gonna just send it back out to the outer main line, but yeah. So in order to get it uh, you know, sort of going back and forth, I would need to tweak the, the switches in the yard there in between runs to get it to go from the inner to the outer back to the inner. That's you know, one of those spots where automating the switches would be nice for that. Really happy though with how this is functioning. Coming down to there. So if we come over here and it's probably this one right here. I think that one will send us back to the back to the inner main line. Yep, so that's the that's the magic part of the switch right there. So we flip that again. And then we should go from the inner main line to the outer main line. Yeah, really nice, quite happy with that. That worked out super well. So if we leave it there, so now the switch is still set over there. So the outer should send it into the yard. And we come down and it's still set so it should go back out to the outer main line. Uh, if we 
throw that back that way. So super happy with how the T-junction works on this side of it. The next thing that I'd like to try here is we'll try to get the, actually maybe what I'll do first is I'm going to get the, the Maersk train switched around. Yeah, so that's onto the inner now. I'm gonna get the Maersk train turned around and we'll try running it clockwise. And we'll see how this end of the, the T-junction works. Make sure everything's all good there. It should really be all just the same, uh, but you know, just for completeness sake, we'll run the train through that way. Always a little bit exciting when you start running trains in a different direction than you have been. You always want to make sure the switches are all good so that you don't all of a sudden veer off into a siding. But I think we've got everything set appropriately, so shouldn't have any issues. You can see currently the Maersk train is moving on the outer main line in a clockwise direction. Everything looks good so far. So the first thing that we really wanna to try to do is to send it through the, I guess we can go first through the yard. Yeah, so if we send it through the yard over there and then it should come back out there, so it'll run on that half. And then afterwards, we could try having it come around this way and into the yard there. Which, interestingly enough, that will, that will turn it around in a different direction. That's interesting. Okay, yeah, we'll try, uh, we'll try the one first to go through the yard and then we'll, we'll try having it double back this way, which should basically turn it around uh, so it's going counterclockwise again rather than clockwise. So we're on the outer main line currently, so we're gonna flip that switch there. And I think this will just take it right through to the, to the far track there. We'll see, there might be a couple other switches that need to get toggled here, but see what this configuration allows it to do. Okay, so not, not all the way out, but that worked pretty well. That's got it going on the, oh, and that was not what I expected. I guess I had that switch set wrong over there. So this is basically allowing us to, to reverse directions the other way. Now things get really exciting. Let's see what, I think it should stay on the, out on the inner main line there going that way. Don't think those switches are set to bring it back through. Yep, so it's just gonna now stay on that inner main line going that way. That is cool though. That's an interesting, you know, option there to have it be able to switch directions like that. It's unfortunate that we can't have it go from counterclockwise back to clockwise, but we could potentially add a bit of track in in the future that would allow for that functionality as well. But I'm going to get this flipped back around and update the switches over on by the grain elevator there so that we can see what we were originally trying for, which is going clockwise, coming into the yard and continuing to go clockwise out of there. So take two, we're going to try to see if this will do what we were trying for last time. 
So we are on the outer main line. We should come into the yard. And this time we should continue to go clockwise around the, the layout. Very cool. So that worked the way we wanted. I have to say, you know, overall, everything's behaving really well. The T junction's very smooth. Always nice to see things running in a reliable, smooth fashion. It's kind of what I expected, but you know, nice to be shown that that's the, that's the case. So happy with how that's going. So if we come down here, so if we, so we're coming through, so it's probably that one that needs to be, so I just switch this one. So this should take us hopefully to that rail yard track there. And fingers crossed, we've got that one set to keep us going in the clockwise direction. And yes, we are. So that put us to the inner, the inner mainline loop going clockwise. So now we can see We'll see how the switches are set on this particular direction of track. Okay, staying on the main line, that's good. It's just fun when there's lots of nice, interesting sort of different functionality you can get with the with the track, like this track is really powerful now with the the crossover here in the yard, the T-junction, we're getting a lot of different directions and ways that we can make the trains move around the, the layout. So the train is gonna stay on that main line for now unless we change things up a little bit so if we come over here and we throw that switch no nope, we're losing a little bit of juice on the battery and are you going to just okay just a second here i need to update its battery Okay, a quick battery swap, and I think we're back and running. Into the yard, over to that far side. And then back out to the inner main line. So it's on a loop basically doing that now. So if we switch things up here, we should be able to, And then back out to the main line. Too many switches sometimes on the, the crossover. It takes a moment to remember which one is going to do what, but that worked well. So now we're on the outer main line.
And that'll take it back on to the inner main line. Back out to the outer. So that basically sets up the the looping there. So it'll go outer around and then into the yard and out onto the inner and then it comes around and switches back to the outer and the, the, uh, the loop continues. So really happy with that. The only other thing that I can think of at the moment that we want to test with the Maersk before we switch over to the trolley just to see how the track behaves with a smaller train, you know, smaller and lighter uh, train car, is I'd like to have the Maersk train do the inner and outer over here and then come into the yard that way. Uh, just to put that track over there through its paces. So let's, Actually, I guess what we can do, so right now that's gonna go back there. So rather than having it go that way, I can have it come that way, and then we can work from there. So if we go and we switch that, like that, that should send us back on to the outer main line, but going the opposite direction. And then I guess we're gonna see if everything is set okay to have it go around that way. Fingers crossed, okay, yep, yeah, we're good there. Okay, so that one worked well. So I do wanna try it the other way around though and have it come into the yard off of this set of track right here. Okay, so I've got these set appropriately, so they should send the Maersk train into the yard. We are coming around on the outer mainline track. So we'll see how that behaves there. And that should kick it back out to, yeah, to the inner main line. So very nice, happy with how that worked. So we've only got one more set of track to test there. Okay, so we're all set up. Let's see, Let's see how this goes. into the yard and that's probably going to kick us back out to the main uh the outer main line or inner main line okay the way it's set there at the moment so really happy with that super smooth you know the uh really happy with how that t-junction has performed and really cool to see some of the different configurations we can move the trains through really does now make me want to get a t-junction on the other end of the the layout there be interesting to see how with a double t-junction uh things could work so that's something to try at a later date but you know really happy with the performance so far the one little bit of outstanding business that i'd like to try here before we wrap the video up I want to try running the Brickmania trolley car through the layout and see how that performs with a few of these uh, switches and the, you know, the T-junction in particular. But I think it'll just be interesting to see, make sure that when we're dealing with a single car or single engine, 
that uh, everything still performs the way we expect. So I'm going to move things around and set up for that test next. So we've got the Brickmania trolley car running there. It's using the powered up system. Whereas I was using the power functions on the Maersk train. Really happy with how that's moving so far. It looks pretty smooth. Just an awesome little, awesome little car to have moving around the, the track. So I guess the best thing to do here, let's try throwing uh, that first and that'll send it into the yard. Just zips along like nothing's going on. Oh, okay, we've got it on the, that way around. So now it's gonna flip. We're on the main line on the outer going counterclockwise. I can put that switch back there. I guess we could try. I don't know what, let's see what the alignment is on these, whether we get it going to the inner main line or whether it tries to run off into the, into the yard. Oh, 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 okay, yeah. There we go, let's stop that for a sec. Okay, crisis averted, that's the benefit of having a small single car. You can end up grabbing it when it goes where it's not supposed to. But I wanna try that again and see if we can get it proper this time. See if we can have it move from the outer main line to the inner main line with the, the switches now, hopefully in the proper orientation. There we go. We're on the inner now, so let's see. Let's see how that works. See if there's any any gotchas with the way that I have the switches. I don't think there should be, but I mean overall it looks like it's moving really smoothly. I'm really happy so far with how that how everything is performing with both the, the longer train and the just the short trolley car. So the last thing I wanna test with this, I'm gonna go over to the T-junction there and try throwing the switch so it comes down into the yard. So the switch is thrown for it to come into the yard. back out to the, the main line on the inner loop. So that worked out really well. Let's make sure it can handle it more than once in a row, but really happy overall. This T-junction is gonna open up so many different possibilities, both in the home layout here, but also when we take it out to train show. So really looking forward to that. Like I said, Really tempted now to try to get a some track set up that has the two full T junctions at either end so that we can come up with some interesting ways to reverse the train's direction and then you know reverse it back again the other way. I think that would be 
a lot of fun and would just open up even more opportunities for interesting ways to move trains in and around our layout. But super happy with how both of these trains performed here. The track's working really well. The T-junction looks amazing, works well. The monster crossover in the yard is doing, you know, everything I expect it to. The track portion of the layout is really coming along and looking forward to adding some new, new track parts to it, but also continuing to build out the city and industrial portions of the layout. Now, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so, so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And thank you very much for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.